Stroke is the leading cause of adult disability and the third leading cause of death in Canada. According to a new Stroke Survivors of Ottawa survey, a quarter of Ontarians say surviving a stroke would be worse than dying, and more than a third would rather lose a limb than suffer the effects of a stroke. But despite their fears, Ontarians are widely unfamiliar with atrial fibrillation, or AF, a common and serious heart condition that can lead to the most severe and debilitating type of stroke. Dr. Richard Titus explains. Atrial fibrillation is a condition where your heart beats irregularly. This may lead to stroke. An alarming fact is that many Ontarians aren't aware of this. In fact, if you have atrial fibrillation, you have three to five times increased chance of having a stroke. And if you do have a stroke, you have double the chance of dying. So it's important that you discuss this risk with your family doctor. And if diagnosed, take the precautions to help prevent a stroke if you have atrial fibrillation. There are currently 100,000 Ontarians living with AF, and the condition currently costs the Ontario healthcare system approximately $700 million annually. As Janet McTaggart, Executive Director of the Stroke Survivors Association of Ottawa explains, there is a knowledge gap that needs to be filled when it comes to AF and stroke. Ontarians are right to be worried about the consequences after stroke. People have to be aware of these conditions like atrial fibrillation. They are not getting informed about what atrial fibrillation is. Hannah Sibbeth, who is living with atrial fibrillation and caring for her husband who suffered an AF-related stroke, knows all too well the importance of being fully informed about this serious heart condition. It's devastating to watch someone who's had a stroke and to watch them struggle every day with things that we take for granted, like walking and talking. After the age of 55, the incidence of AF doubles with each decade of life. Strokes due to AF can lead to paralysis, loss of speech and understanding, effects on the memory, thought, and emotional processes. While there are many treatment options available, surprisingly, many patients and caregivers don't have access to the newest treatment products. Pradex has been found to be safe and effective in the prevention of strokes in patients with atrial fibrillation. I am of the opinion that everybody in Ontario should have access to that medication. I have AF and I'm on an anticoagulant and I'm thankful that I am because I don't know what I'd be able to do if I couldn't take care of Paul. My hope is that Ontarians learn more about atrial fibrillation and the risk of stroke so that they might take action before it's too late. To learn more about AF, find questions to ask your doctor to determine your risk, tips on living with the condition, and suggestions for caregivers, visit strokeandaf.ca. Andrea Ruse reporting.